friend this is avinash singh from india and today is the 3rd of the march 2024 this is a sunday and i am in the cathedral church of redemption new delhi india in front of the president uh, house and i'm so thankful to god for uh, giving a wonderful opportunity to be a part of our english worship service where we are uh, able to focus on the transfiguration of lord jesus christ today is the fourth sunday before easter and it was a very very blessed uh, time to study uh, the word of god on the topic of transfiguration and you know that transfiguration is one of the major uh, event before the crucifixion of lord jesus christ why it is a major event because jesus shows his divine side to his selective disciples where the three disciples were there where john james and peter was there at the same time we see the old testament uh, leaders uh, christian leaders prophets were there moses and elijah moses uh, signifies the law elijah signifies the prophets and these three disciples signifies the new a generation of israel community moses and uh, elijah was a old uh, jewish community and the these three disciples rep- represent the new uh, generation of uh, jewish community and we know that jesus was jewish and uh, this is a very important event uh, because of the three important reason the first thing is Jesus has revealed his divinity to his disciple with the old testament prophets and leaders second thing it is important because he has uh, shown the two sides of the jewish community the old jewish leaders and the new jewish leaders and third and the last thing is that Jesus also reveal in the uh, event of transfiguration that he is going to fulfill the will of god by sacrificing himself uh, on the cross for ourselves and if you read the gospel you find few verses which uh, reveal the mission of lord jesus christ if you read the gospel of luke chapter 19 verse 10 where it says but the son of man came to seek and to save the lost Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 10 says that Jesus said I come to give you a life a life of full abundance the third thing is in gospel of Matthew chapter 9 13 it says I did not come for a righteous but I come for a sinner for repentance so these uh, three verses uh, basically signifies the mission of lord jesus christ there are many other verses which says in gospel of luke chapter 10 verse 45 says that i did not come to serve but to serve and to give my life for the ransom of many so there are many bible verses gospel of john chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 says that god so loved the world that he gave his begotten son that whosoever believed in him will have a uh, eternal life and in the 17th verse he says that i did not come to condemn the world but to save the world so all these things is really helpful to understand the mission of lord jesus christ so this sunday where we celebrate the transfiguration of lord jesus christ has uh, bring a great awakening spiritually for each one of us so i hope that this uh, video will bless you and help you and i'm going to bring a many videos on biblical teaching on various subject it will really bless you lot so please subscribe my youtube channel and please share with your church family members relative friends and you will be blessed in abundance man i will share some of my pics uh, which i have taken after the church worship service so may god bless you abundantly amen